Today I am going to show you how to solve maximum element hackering problem in an efficient way right now. Hey everyone, my name is Kanaya Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update. Let's start. In this problem, you have an empty sequence and you will be given n queries. Each query is one of these three types. First, x push the element x into the stack. Second, delete the element present at the top of the stack. And third, print the maximum element in the stack. So these are the three queries which is given. And the input format is like the first line of the input contains integer n, the next n lines each contains an above mentioned queries and an output for each type 3 queries print the maximum element in the stack on a new line. So these are the sample input guys. 10 is represent the number of queries and these are the different different types of queries. So if it's a 1 it and this is the x you can see here. So it means you have to push this element into the stack. Second, it means you have to delete the element from the stack and one is again push the element into the stack and again delete the element, then again push, then again push, then delete and then three type 3 query means print the maximum element in the stack, then again push, then again print the maximum element in the stack on a new line. So these are the queries guys which we have to take as an input and print the output accordingly. So let's build the logic around it. For ease, I have written all the rules or type of queries here, so it will help you to understand. And these are the sample input. I have taken the same input guys which is mentioned in the HackerRank platform, so it will be easy for us to understand. So guys, if you see, this is the n which will tell you how many queries we have. So at in worst case, you are going to perform all n queries, right? So these are the n queries. So to perform n queries you require one loop which will go up to 10 times or you can say n times what is the value of n you will apply one loop which will go to n times. So this is the on complexity just to perform all queries. But in these queries there are a couple of queries like this. Once you perform these type of queries what you have to do print the maximum element in the stack. So what are the stacks you have in that you have to go and check what is the maximum element and you have to print that. Suppose up to here you have stored all these element into a stack and then you have to go to each and every element and get the maximum. If it's a one time guys it's fine but you'd never know how many times this query will occur. You can see after pushing one more element they are again asking print the maximum element from the stack. So if it's a one time you are going to at max process all the element from the stack and going to print that. So how many elements can be possible in a stack at max n and at max this query I mean for when you want to print the maximum element in the stack you have to traverse an element in worst case and get the maximum element out of it. But if this query is not one time it's multiple times if it's two times you have to do the same thing two times I mean it ha you have to iterate the stack second time and print the maximum again. So if you have two queries you have to go to the stack two times and assume you have m number of queries like this 3. Suppose the three type of queries you have m number of times. So it means m number of times you have to go to the stack and get the maximum or you can say m number of times you have to traverse an element to get the maximum. So the overall complexity of your solution will be nm and this will be your worst case complexity and if you write your solution like that it's not gonna work for this problem. Why it's not gonna work? I'll make a separate tutorial on this topic and upload it in the future and I'll mention the link in the description box so that you can go and check it. But for now just assume this solution is not gonna work for this problem. A anyhow if you try to solve via this way or brute force approach you can see hacker rank will say it's time out or TLE time limit exceeded. So now 
what do you need to do? You need to optimize your solution and come up with a, a more efficient way. Now see what we can do. If you see all those element, the loop, one loop will be there for all the elements, right? To process all n queries. So you cannot do anything. n will be there. You have to process or you, there is a one loop which will go up to 1 to n to process all the queries. So here you cannot optimize anything. But whenever the three type of query comes, instead of again traversing the all elements what is present in the stack and get the maximum, can we do something here? Yes, we can do. Instead of going and traversing the whole stack every time whenever the three type of query is there, we will keep on track of the maximum element at each point. How we are going to do that? That we'll see right now. I have just changed the sample input here. I am not using the hacker rank input anymore because that will not sufficient to show you what I am going to do here. So currently we have taken a two stacks. One is the main stack which will hold all the data or the element which we are going to push. And the second stack is a max stack which will maintain the maximum element at every moment. So whenever you ask type 3 query, it will give you the maximum element from the top. Okay. So let's see. So this is the first query guys. First x, it means you have to push the element x into the stack. So first query means x which is 10. So you have to put 10 into the stack. So whenever you are going to push 10 into the stack, at the same time, you have to push the element 10 in max stack. So now because so far, what is the maximum element into the stack? 10. So you are going to put maximum element into this max stack. So the top element will be holding the maximum element at this moment. So the next query will be 1 means push 20. So we, now we are going to push 20 here. So in this stack, what is the maximum element right now? So you don't need to go all those elements. You need to just compare with the top now. Because you know, what are the element was there below to this element, you know this is the maximum one now. So you need to compare with this element only. So what is the maximum element? 20. So now you are going to put 20 here. So it means when two items are here, so currently 20 is the max element. You have to keep in sync both the stack. So now the third one we have first, I mean we have to push 15. So we are going to push 15 here. So what is the maximum element now? So you have to compare 15 at the top. So which one is the maximum? 20. So the maximum element right now is 20. Right? So we are not going to see all those three elements and compare which one is the max. Because you know we have already compared these two and we have on top. So we are just going to compare with the next one. Right? So far 20 is the max element. If anybody will ask you amongst the element, what is the maximum element? 20 is the element. So the next query is 30. So now I am going to push 30 here. So if I push 30, what is the maximum element? Now at this point, you are going to compare with top element. Right? So what is the maximum? 30. So you can put 30 here. So now we have 2. It means you have to delete the top element from the stack. So we are going to delete the top element from the stack. So once you delete this element, what is the maximum element guys? 20, right? But here it's showing 30. So you have to make sure whenever you perform deletion operation from here, you have to delete from here. Whenever you are going to perform push operation here, you have to push the element here itself. So both the operation should be in sync. If you are performing push, you have to push in both the stack. If you are deleting something from the stack, you have to delete because the entry whatever you made, you made based on this. Because you consider this element is also a part of the stack, based on that you enter the latest maximum value. But now the element is not there, so that maximum element entry also you have to remove because that element or entry cannot be true right now. If you think about in our case, it was 30, right? So after 30 came into the stack, our max got changed. So now when uh, 30 removed from the stack, that max also should be adjusted. So we have adjusted that and now 
20 is the max element. Whatever is in top of the stack, that is the maximum element. Let's move on, guys. Whenever you say 3, it means print the maximum element from the stack. So what you are going to print? This or this? This one. Because this is the max stack. So max stack top element will tell us this is what the maximum element among all the elements whatever present in the main stack. So we are going to print 20 now. We are going to print 20. Now again 1 it means push the element 40. So we are going to push the element 40 here. So when we are pushing 40 we will just compare with the top. Which one is a bigger one or maximum one? 40. So we are going to insert 40. It means in the current state is 40 of the max stack. It means the maximum element in the stack is 40 now. And this is the 3. It means we have to print the maximum element from the stack. So what is the maximum element guys? You will get it from the top of the stack which is 40. So you are going to print 40 which is the answer. I hope guys this logic is clear to you what we are going to achieve here. See the algorithm in action guys. So this is the main method guys. So I have written my code inside the main method but it's up to you guys how you are going to write it. So you can make a separate method also. So in that I am taking an input which is like a number of queries. So I am storing in an and I have initialized two stacks here. One stack is a main stack in that we are going to perform all the operation and second is a max stack. In that for every moment we will keep track of the maximum element. So in max stack initially I have put it a default value which is a min value. Why I have put it I will show you in a couple of minutes. So this is a for loop guys which will run from 0 to n less than n and in that we are taking the type of the query first what type of query it is and I have applied switch case over here. So if it is a type 1 query it means we are going to get one more input from the console which is an item and I have that item I will put into the main stack. But after putting into the main stack at the same time I will just check what is the maximum element present in the max stack. So guys here I am using the dot peak method. So if there is no such element it will give you error. So that is the reason I have already pushed one default value into the stack. So if the current element is greater than the maximum element or top element from the stack we are going to push that element. If current element is not greater so we are going to push the same element. So the next case if this is a case 2 it means we have to delete the element from the stack. So we are going to pop the element from both the stack. In the third case we have to print the maximum element. So we are just going to print the maximum. From where we are going to print? We are going to print from the max stack. We have to just peak that element. So we are going to print that. So this is the problem guys. So this is what I have written. So let's try to run this on a hacker rank platform. Let's run this code. Sample test case got passed. Now I am going to submit this code. Congratulations guys. Now our test case got passed. I hope this problem is clear to you guys. If you need the source code you can go to my github repository and download the source code from there. And the link is mentioned in the description box. Guys please if you find this video useful please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates. Thanks for watching guys and let me know if you have any better solution to solve this problem.